It's usually pretty rare across parts of the Midwest to have two back to back brutal winters. Well, we had that in the late 1970s, night winter of 1977 to 78 and 1978 to 1979. Here's the reason why this is a general weather pattern that we see across the winter. You get a high pressure off the Pacific that kind of pushes the jet stream down into the parts of the country, but it's still variable a little bit. It moves from north to south. That's why we can sometimes see wild temperature swings in the winter. But both of those winters, that high pressure system pushed much further north than usual, allowing the jet stream to fluctuate well further to the south and pulling a lot of that colder air into the central and eastern parts of the country. Not only was it cold in Omaha, but it was one of the coldest winters on record for many states in the east. In fact, it is the record for our longest stretch below freezing from January the 7th to February the 21st, 1978 at 46 days. Also had a similar stretch in 1979. In fact, the winter of 1978-1979 is seen as the worst winter in Omaha history since at least 1950 in terms of temperatures and some snowfall.